Good day students, you are welcome to today's lecture. I will take you through a quick tour on NSC 307 which is Human Nutrition. You are welcome to study session 1 which we introduce the concept of Human Nutrition. Human Nutrition is a profession to obtain the essential nutrients necessary to support life and health. People can survive for, eight, for 2 to 8 weeks without food depending on stored body fat and muscle mass when one is well nourished it reflects in one's appearance the, the individual has vitality is emotionally stable and enthusiastic about life on the other hand when one is undernourished he is inclined to body weakness easily he is irritable and gets easily anxious in the view of the foregoing this study of nutrition cannot be overemphasized because food is necessary as I've said. So in this study session, you will learn about the basic concept of human nutrition, you discuss the historical perspective of human nutrition, and in the end, you discuss nurses role in human nutrition. Moving to the learning outcome, at the end of this study session, you'll be able to explain the basic concept of human nutrition, you'll be able to discuss the historical overview of human nutrition, and be able to discuss nurses role in nutrition. Nutrition. Nutrition is a science of study of food values. It is also defined as a combination of processes by which living organisms receive and utilizes the materials necessary for the maintenance of their function, growth, and renewal of their components. The study, the, the, the science of nutrition starts with feeding, what we feed on, and the substances that are present in foods which are needed for general maintenance, growth, reproduction in health of human body. Let's look, move to human nutrition and health. The connection between nutrition and the human body is one of the most basic and vital relationships to human health. From Hippocrates, let, let food your, be your medicine and medicine be your food to the modern popular phrase. You are what you eat. Humans have always known with the connection between nutrition and health. The key to understanding why food has such an impact on overall health lies in the physiological needs of the human body of the human body cells cells use nutrients found in ingested substances to allow proper function of the body problems including diseases and dis disability occur when nutrition is ignored or compromised moving to the nutritional needs of the body the human body has specific caloric and nutritional needs caloric needs is referred to as the energy needed to carry out various chemical reactions within the within each cell of the body energy that comes from the breakdown of food molecules is directly responsible for keeping living tissue in the body alive the number of calories a person requires daily depends on the age the sex the height and physical activity and can vary greatly among individuals if excess caloric energy is consumed it is stored in the adipose tissues as fat regardless of its original source nutritional needs refers to fats carbohydrates and proteins that the body needs to replace expended nutrients these macronutrient molecules that is the fat carbohydrate and proteins are broken down daily and must be replaced regularly in order for the body to maintain proper function the essential amino and fatty acids form the building blocks that work to replace these molecules Micronutrients such as vitamins and minerals are of vital importance to, to tissue growth, to enzyme structure and uh, chemical reactions. Moving to nutritional issues and disorders. Nutritional issues and disorders can have catastrophic results on human health. Malnutrition refers to insufficient, excessive or imbalanced consumption of nutrients. In developed countries, this often manifests in overconsumption of sugary, nutrient deficient foods and obesity which has been linked to numerous types of diseases and dysfunctions in the developing world where access to food is often compromised this manifests in hunger starvation and malnourishment this lack of one of basic necessities of nutritional components prevents further growth Pre they, they prevent proper growth i mean and maintenance of vital body functions consequently one of the best things a person can do to promote overall health and awareness is to maintain a nutritious diet moving to the historical overview of a human nutrition humans have evolved as omnivorous hunter gatherers over the past 250,000 years the diet of early modern humans vary significantly depending on the location and the climate the diet in the tropics tended to be based more heavily on plant foods, 
while the diet at higher latitudes tended more towards animal products. Analysis of postcranial and cranial remains of humans and animals from the Neolithic along with detailed bone modification studies have shown that cannibalism was also prevalent among prehistoric humans. Agriculture developed about 10,000 years ago in, in multiple locations throughout the world, providing grains such as wheat, rice, maize, and potatoes with staples such as bread, pasta, and tolitalis. Farming also provided milk and dairy products and sharply increased the availability of meat and the diversity of vegetables. The importance of food purity was recognized when bulk storage led to infestation and contamination risk. Cooking developed as a ritual activity due to efficiency and reliability requiring adherence to strict recipes. Cooking is also a response to the demands for food purity and consistency. History of human nutrition from ancient times to the 19th centuries. Around the 475 BC, Anaxagoras stated that food is absorbed by human body and therefore contained homeomerics, that is generative component, which is suggesting the existence of nutrients. Around 400 BC, Hippocrates says, let food be your medicine and medicine be your food. In the, in the, in the 16th century, Scientist and artist Leonardo da Vinci compared metabolism to a bunny can do. In 1747, Dr. James Lind, a physician in the British Navy, performed the first scientific nutrition experiment where he, or she, where he discovered that lime juice saved sailors who had been at sea for years from scurvy, which is a deadly and painful bleeding disorder. The discovery was ignored for 40 years after which British sailors became known as limes. The essential vitamin C within the lime trees would not be identified by scientists until the 1930s. Around the 1770, Anthony Lavoisier, the father of nutrition and chemistry, discovered the details of metabolism, demonstrating that the oxidation of food is a source of body heat. In 1790, George Fordis recognized calcium as necessary for foul survivor. In the early 19th century, the elements carbon, nitrogen, hydrogen, and oxygen were recognized as the primary components of food and methods to measure their proportions were developed. Also in 1840, Justus like Bean discovered the chemical makeup of carbohydrates, that is sugars, it also discovered the chemical makeup of fats, which is fatty acid, and also protein, which is amino acids. In 1860s, Claude Bernard discovered that body fat can be synthesized from carbohydrates and protein, showing that the energy in blood glucose can be stored as fat or as glycogen. In the early 1880s, Kanehiro Takaki observed that Japanese sailors developed beriberi, but British sailors and Japanese NAFA officers did not. Adding various types of vegetables and meat to the diets of Japanese sailors prevented the disease. In 1896, Bowman observed iodine in thyroid glands. In 1897, Christian Ejikman worked with natives of Java who also suffered from beriberi. Ejikman observed that chickens fed with native diets of white rice developed the symptoms of beriberi but remained healthy when fed on processed brown rice with outer bran intact. A jigman cured the natives by feeding them brown rice, discovering that food can cure disease. Over two decades later, nutritionists learned that the outer rice bran contains vitamin B1, also known as thiamine. Then looking at the history of human nutrition from 19th century to the present age, in the early 20th century, Count Voigt Voigt and Max Robner independently measured caloric energy expenditure in different species of animals, applying principles of physics and nutrition. In 1906, Wilcock and Hopkins showed that the amino acid tryptophan was necessary for the survival of rats. He fed them a special mixture of food containing all the nutrients he believed were essential for survival, but the rats died. The second group of rats, to which he also, he also fed an amount of milk containing vitamins, Goland Hopkins recognized accessory food factors other than calories, protein, and minerals as organic materials essential to health, but which the body cannot synthesize. In 1913, Elmer Moculum 
discovered the first vitamins which is fat soluble vitamin a and water soluble vitamin b and named vitamin c as the then mono substance preventing scurvy in 1922 McCollum destroyed the vitamin a in cod liver oil but found it still cured rickets and named it vitamin d in 1930s Williams coming rose identified essential amino acids necessary protein components which the body cannot synthesize in 1992 the u.s department of agriculture introduced the food guide pyramid in in 2002 a natural justice study showed a relation between nutrition and violent behavior in 2005 a study found that obesity can be caused by adenovirus in addition to bad nutrition Let's move at let's move to nurses role in nutrition why is nutrition so important and what are the nurses role in nutrition nutrition is essential because it is required for growth and healing and her body functions too according to Bartholomew, the nurses role in nutrition are to educate patients about good nutrition which promotes good health in this section we will be discussing about nurses role in nutrition and strategies that can be implemented in the hospital nursing home and community Moving to the role of nurses on nutrition in the hospital. Nutrition is believed to be a key issue for healthcare professionals in hospital settings. Yet, the management of nutritional problems is often poor. According to Hall Regan in 2009, nutrition should be viewed as an integral and central component of patient care, irrespective of the patient's physical diagnosis, condition, age, or psychological status. Failure to address the issue of malnutrition is failure of duty of nurses to protect the health of patients. In hospital environment, nurses are and nurses are obliged to make observations about physical status, the food intake, weight changes, and response to therapy. Intake of improper or inadequate diet in human beings is called malnutrition. Let's look at the nurse's role at home. Our, our role as a nurse can affect the nutritional status of residents of a nursing home. Many nutritional issues arise in residents of a nursing home. Nurses play a major role in ensuring that the residents' nutritional needs are met, documenting changes in weight loss, decreased appetite, oral health, and physical activity are examples of our important role that will play in evaluation of the nutritional status of our patients. Let's move at let's move to the nurses' role in the community. In 2006, Wright defines malnutrition as a situation when an individual's nutrient intake falls short of metabolic requirements. He says that malnutrition can cause weight loss, heart dysfunction, a weak immune system, and decreased wound healing. The nurses' role in nutrition is to educate patients in our community on how to improve eating habits to promote good health. Patients can be encouraged to be eating nutritionally balanced meals throughout the day. Patients can be encouraged to stabilize their weight and improve their appetite by doing light exercises before meals. Also, patients can be encouraged to be drinking lots of fruits. Nurse can recommend good oral hygiene for patients in the community in order, in order for the patients to enjoy the taste of food they are eating. Thank you for listening. Meet you in the next slide. Bye for now.